Hi, I'm going to be talking about Indiva Active in the treatment of vaginismus. So what is the Indiva technology and what does it do? Well, it applies an electric current at a radio frequency of 448 kilohertz. And this has two effects. One is the subthermal, which impacts on the cells and does um, the biostimulation and cell proliferation. We also have the thermal effect, which increases blood supply, increases nutrients and oxygen to that area, and also accelerates metabolic processes. So we have two modes of application. One is the capacitive electrode, which um, treats really superficial in terms of heat production, but that biostimulation effect goes all the way through to wherever the neutral return plate is placed on the body. And then we also have the resistive electrode. And this um, has the effect of going directly into the body and the body's tissues provide that resistance, um, which then generates the heat, which is the dual effect. And these are just the different types of scientific names for the um, Indiba, which is TECA, CRET, and CRMRF. So types of application when we talk about um, treating in gynecology, we also have a, a resistive electrode that we can use as intercavitary if you choose to do so. Um, but we can actually also just treat externally with the capacitive and the resistive electrodes. So these are some of the things that we can change when we're talking about application um, parameters, which is the frequency of the treatment, where we're going to position the active electrode, where we can position the return plate. So in gynecology, it's normally on the back because we treat directly over the um, abdomen. We can change um, the power output to have just biostimulation in an acute phase, or if we want to introduce more, more of a thermal effect, we can increase the power. So what is vaginismus? Well, it's an involuntary contraction of the muscles of the lower third of the vagina, which causes a total or partial closure. So here you can see this is looking side on at the pelvis. So if you were to cut me in half, you would be seeing the muscles here at the entrance of the vagina, and that's where they actually have the contraction effect. And this means that penetration is impossible. Here you can see this would be normal, so those muscles are relaxed in the patient. So what types of vaginismus are there? Well, there's primary and secondary. So primary is when um, we've, a woman has never been able to have sex or ach achieve any kind of penetration. And secondary, when they have previously been able to achieve vaginal penetration, but suddenly they're unable to do so. And there's many reasons why that occurs. So some of the causes, one of the big ones we know is psychological. Um, and this is something that you can talk to your therapist about. So your physiotherapist will ask you about the, psych the psychological causes of what might be going on. It can be things like stress um, and any uh, previous abuse that you might have experienced. We can also say that about the physical causes, and that can be through birth injuries. Um, hormonal changes such as the menopause can alter things um, in the vagina, especially vaginal dryness. Um, abuse, as I've mentioned before, um, the trauma of that. And often surgery and any infections that have been down in that area as well. And they can all cause this spontaneous thing to occur. So what are the objectives of Indiba Active? So we want to decrease the pain and inflammation in the area. We want to increase metabolism and improve the actual muscle itself. So we want to improve um, the nutrients and oxygenation of those muscles right down in that lower third of the abdomen. We want to it rebalance the optimal muscle tone of the pelvic floor muscles. Um, and early mobilization so we can relax those muscles down so that you can achieve penetration. So some of the contraindications of Indiba. Uh, pregnancy, pay, pacemaker, active infectious disease, diseases, and just as a caution is loss of thermal sensitivity, which the physio would always check, but this is only a caution and you can still have Indiba active if there is a loss, it's just you have to be a little bit more careful. 
If you want any more information about the treatment of Indeba in pelvic health, you can go to our website at indebaactive.com forward slash en.